your prize, a nuke! Bush! <laughs> and that is what killed the dinosaurs. Hello everyone, I'm the Game Beaver. Welcome to Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator where you can now play as a T-Rex, which is awesome. Some of you guys may recognize this T-Rex right here as the one that was put in Ark as the additional creatures mod. So, I already could tell that the guy didn't bother making it and he just imported it in. However, there may be unique animations and all that jazz. It's a T-Rex! It's good enough for me! They've also implemented this automatic um, cinematic thing, which is, I think, you can't turn off! Like, you just click the mouse and it goes to different camera angles. Like, apparently if you click C, that disables it, and then maybe you can move. So what we're gonna do is we've got a thousand T-Rexes facing off against 2,000 footmen that you see there. Um, 500 archers, and in the middle of the town, if we can get to them, yeah, there they are, is another 2,000 spearmen! <laughs> so uh, they're just waiting in the middle. This is Jurassic World 2! This! Okay, I'm gonna click K once we're in like a good battle. Okay, go! Go, T-Rexes! Press any key to play. I would love to play. Oh, they just run. No, go to the other one. There, there we go. There we go. The T-Rexes are a-coming. <laughs> They're just putting their head down and mincing them. Oh, my God. <laughs> just like loads of them dying. I don't think this is the right scale. T-Rex is way too big to be realistic. Oh my god, they're just getting wrecked! The archers desperately firing arrows at the T-Rexes. This is awesome! They're dead. They're gonna die. The, the last foot soldier's desperately hanging on. Archers flinging their arrows, and they're coming in! Oh, T-Rex down! T-Rex down! Oh my god, look at that! <laughs> That sort of view is awesome! Yes! This is what I've been waiting for my whole life! <laughs> yeah, they don't stand a chance. Are oh, the T-Rexes? I don't think are going for the Spearmen just yet. They're all... Oh my god. How many T-Rexes have died? We've got one T-Rex dead. Oh, two T-Rexes dead now. I think that's all there is though. There's only Can they get in the city? Apparently they've improved the AI as well. Oh, there is a dead T-Rex there. Let's have a look, let's have a look. Seven uh, T-Rexes are dead. Are they coming through? Can they get round to the city? I think all the archers are just about to There, there we go! The T-Rexes are gonna try to get through. What can the spearmen do? I wanna try and take control of the spearmen now. Where would they come through? Where would they come through? T-Rexes? Oh! There he goes! Oh, oh there's, a, oh, there's one through already. Oh, here we go. The final safe haven for the humans. <laughs> oh, this is awesome. Oh, there goes another one. Oh, and another one as well. But tell you what, for every bite, like, ten humans fall. We need to make our own. We need to make Rexy from Jurassic Park. That's what we need to do. Oh, this looks awesome. Now we need raptors. Raptors, stegosaurs, thank you so much, game dev, whoever you are. <laughs> this is awesome. I was, when I first saw this game, I was like, it's, it's amazing. All it needs is, like, dinosaurs. And look at that. Look at that. We don't have, like, a T-Rex roar, which is probably good because it might be copyrighted from uh, Universal. But look at that. Dead T-Rexes. What a bloody war this was. <laughs> I like the way they die. It's really cool, actually. Uh, it would be awesome if they just, like, ran through. Oh, man. Love it. Love it. Love it. So, in the end, how many T-Rexes died? Twelve out of a thousand T-Rexes. <laughs> right, let's do another battle scenario, shall we? The cavalry arrive. All 10,000 of them! But facing them off on the other side, if, if the camera will get to them. <laughs> I can see them over there. Okay, ready guys? Go, go, here they go! Look at all the T-Rexes, so the cavalry charge out the gates! It's the Riders of Rohan versus T-Rex! <laughs> How's this clash gonna go? Oh, push! Oh, maybe not push. There we go. There we go. Oh, 
Oh, God. I was hoping the T-Rexes would do a little bit more damage. I mean, the, the horses, but no, no, the T-Rexes, they're just, <laughs> just eating them. All of the horses slowly coming. Oh, t one T-Rex down. See, I don't need a cinematic camera. I've got my own. How about we, yeah, let's enable, there we go. Here's the cinematic camera 001, 0054. <laughs> the horses slowly grind up. Oh, no, my turn. I want, I want more camera angles. Look at the T-Rexes go. The last ones join the fray. Oh, there he is. That is the last one. Look at him go. Can we take control of him? Awesome. I am a T-Rex. Yes. Okay, I want to join the battle. Eight T-Rexes have died. And almost 3,000 horses have died. <laughs> oh, here we go. Charge. Dumb. Um. Go on, keep fighting. I, I can block with E, apparently. Go on, keep, keep attacking. Yum. Oh, this is awesome. So all the red horses are the ones that are, are uh, aggroed. And the yellow... Oh, I killed all of them. Yes. Kill. Yum, yum. Kill them, my beauties. Yum. You just have to stand here. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, this is crazy. We should have had the T-Rexes just stand and wait and see what had happened. Like, make a huge wall of dinosaur bodies a thousand health so ten thousand health is kind of crazy though that is nuts oh there we go oh that's more like it cinematic camera number 55 <laughs> this amount of directors you can't get this in arc you cannot get a battle this crazy in arc without it lagging oh no my died oh that's a shame Oh, actually, wait, no, I'm pretty sure it was over here. Huh, I must have selected that one. Well, yep, it looks like... like <laughs> that, that is where the start of the battle happened. And it's just full of dead horses. And look at the end. Beautiful. It's a thing of beauty. I love it. Oh, there's another T-Rex down. No, 10,000 horses. And so far... Well, it takes about 10,000 horses to kill 100 T-Rexes. There we go. The first lot casualties of the T-Rexes. And it looks like they're quite early on, actually. It's probably because the, um, the cavalry get a good trampling bonus if they just run into something. If it's a normal unit, then they almost kill it instantly. Oh, the T-Rexes are heading over. <laughs> and the last of the horses are about to be surrounded. Oh, my God. I love it so much. And there you go, T-Rexes, your prize, a nuke, boosh! <laughs> and that is what killed the dinosaurs. Yeah, this, this was the new creature that was added not too long ago. However, I don't know, I'm kind of okay. Like, <laughs> it's only a kangaroo. But this is a T-Rex, and that's more my chance. Now we have a melee block chance. So, we have a melee block chance of zero. So the T-Rex will never block. Um, you know, I don't think that's okay. I think the T-Rex should block for at least 10% because it's got a thick hide. So this one has about 10,000 attack. Sorry, 10,000 health. Let's make Rexy, you know, 50,000 50, is good. Damage, uh, you know, 1,000, oh, that's better. Now the T, like this T-Rex, it's sort of attacked, but at the same time, it had to get really close. So I would say, give it like 10 meters and speed multiplier, Two, it can be extra, extra attacky. And T-Rex should go up to 30, 40 file, miles an hour, right? So let's give it a speed increase of 1.5. Yeah, that sounds about right. We'll call this. Rexy, there you go. I've seen it in the comments. Lots of requests for some old favorites of past episodes to come back. So what do you guys think about the return of Steve the Penguin attacking T-Rexes, let's see how this goes. <laughs> oh, the T-Rexes are falling. Oh my God. <laughs> oh no, some penguins are dying. Some penguins are dying. This is a normal T-Rex and they are just flopping. Oh my God. Look at them go. There's like 2,000 Steves. Is there about 2,000 Steves? You know, there's losses from both sides, but... Oh my god. Yeah, the T-Rex is just dying. Wow. That... 
That battle was um over really quick. Oh wait, what? Oh no! Oh! Oh, there's like one T-Rex at the top! Oh, <laughs> the penguins went from... How did you get up there? Oh my god. Okay, um... Well, that's Steve versus T-Rexes. So, let's do that again, except with Rexy. I'd like to see that battle. Okay, this time, at one end of the canyon, we have the T-Rexes. And at the other, we'll have the penguins! Off they go, off to attack. Now the penguins... Oh, the penguins are gonna fly in! <laughs> <laughs> Look at them go! Steve, valiantly as they fly! Valiant as they come! T-Rex is in the middle. Now these are Rexies. They move a little bit quicker and do more to- Oh, the help! Oh, Rexy down! Completely obliterated! Oh my god, the penguins have projected! <laughs> what? Steve has acquired arrows! What the hell? I've never seen such a ludicrous thing! How? How is Steve since last time I played this game? Steve has acquired the ability to shoot arrows at an infinite amount of speed! <laughs> oh, the T-Rexes are falling, but can they keep them at bay while the avalanche falls? There is a lot of T-Rexes that can't really fit in. The avalanche comes down! Oh no! It's gonna hit the T-Rexes! Oh, oh, it does! But the, the Steve's, Steve's were just, oh, they're just falling into it, just dying. Oh, no, actually that didn't really make much of a dent. I've got to admit, look, look at all the dead penguins here. They're just constantly running into it because they're so quick and it's a death ball. But, T-Rexes, <laughs> it's kind of an even fight. I guess giving the uh, penguins arrows. <laughs> Is this what happens when you give them projectiles? I never gave them projectiles though, ever. Oh my God, this is awesome. I think Steve's gonna lose though. Steve so far has killed 54 T-Rexes and they've lost 1,000. But saying that, I don't know. Oh, we're following this one penguin. Oh my God, that's so cool. How you can do that. Oh, look at the T-Rexes. Look at the sheer amount of T-Rexes, two penguins. In fact, it's over. Oh. Oh, where are they running for? Oh, is that like one penguin there? Oh, there he is! He's stuck! <laughs> oh, dear. Well, Rexy completely obliterated um, Steve. But Steve, even Steve had the uh, the advantage. Look at that, the first T-Rex. But look, I mean, I think that's killed from the boulder though, isn't it? I just realized that my custom units have like... And a projectile. Why? It should be a melee. Oh my god. So you could have a T-Rex that fires bullets. Oh, we gotta make that. We gotta make tech T-Rex. We will have F -f 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 join the battle, but only a hundred because I think it may be unfair on the T-Rexes. There's the penguins. Where are the turtles? The tortoises. There go the tortoises bringing up the rear. Oh, this is awesome. They flock to their deaths. But they now have tortoises to help them. I can't believe the arrow. Why do they have arrows? Wait, uh, wait, sorry. Hold on, guys. I gotta make them melee. They do not need to fire arrows. Oh, there they go. Right, okay. This time, Steve is back to normal. And he shouldn't be firing arrows out of God knows where. He should be meleeing. So will this make much of a difference? T-Rex is again on melee. The first T-Rex in and boom! Oh! Oh, they- oh, wow. Oh, hold the phone. This might make all the difference because they get up close. T-Rex is four- I mean, to be honest, there's a lot of penguins dying, but it seems like they're doing way better once they swamp the T-Rexes or Rexes. Oh, they, they just kill them. I mean, there's a lot of penguins dying per T-Rex, so you're gonna need about 10 penguins to a T-Rex, so probably about 100,000 for- Maybe, yeah, it'll probably be 100,000 for 1,000 T-Rexes. Oh, they are pushing them back really quick. Look at that. That's way better than before. Screw projectiles. They suck. <laughs> I kind of want to put on, like, a T-Rex that fires arrows with a 1% of chance of accuracy. <laughs> that would be amazing. Or a T-Rex that fires boulders. Oh, my God. Oh, no. No, the, the tortoises are coming in! No, they're so amazing though. 
I think, oh no, they're dead? <gasps> How did they die? No, the boulders. Oh God, oh no. Yeah, they've killed a lot. Okay, tortoises, you really need to help them out. You really need to help Steve's. They're doing well, they're pushing them back. And I've given the tortoise like the, the normal amount of uh, health he's got. I haven't nerfed him. So I think they're there. I think there's some tortoises there. There he is. Yes. Look at them go. <laughs> Steve's and Puffs forming an alliance to take on Rexy. And they're doing a pretty good job. Puffs still down there. Oh my god. I th they're really. I think there's just going to be the f -f 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 tortoises left. Look at that. Look at that guy go. Just nibbling. Look at all the blood pouring. Go. Look at him. <laughs> Look at him twitch. Look at Steve twitch as well. Go on, Steve. No. But there's plenty more where that came from. They've killed almost 100 T-Rexes, but 1,300 of them have died. Oh, God. I don't know. I don't know if they can last. I think they're away from the boulders. Yeah, they are. But Rex is just too strong. But... Actually, there is lots of tortoises left. It, the steves of the steves are dropping. They're dropping like flies. But I don't think I've seen a dead tortoise. And they are just going and going. Yeah, look at there's like there's like one one or so steves left, just like <laughs> waiting. They can't get round to them. Now the T Rexes have a good range, which means that the ones up front can bite, and so can the ones behind. I think they may win this. They're pulling it back. There's only, how many? 60, 60, uh, probably tortoises left. I think all the Steves are dead. And there is only, so the fuff -fuff fuffs are going to lose. Look at that. Look at, they're pushing back. They, they just can't quite do it, I don't think. They don't have the numbers. There's only about 50 or so left. But on a one-on-one -on -one fight, the tortoises would win every time. It's been a long time since Monday. Tortoises have fought prehistoric T-Rexes. And it's a good thing too. Because the dinosaurs would get their asses kicked. <laughs> Why are the T-Rexes feathered? <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> Maybe they'll make both. Maybe they'll make like feathered T-Rexes. And then you can have feathered versus scales. Oh, would you like that? I know I would. This is awesome. I love it. <laughs> Look at that. You can't even see them. They're hiding under the bodies of their victims. How many are left? Oh, there's only 11 left. I think they're trying- Yo, oh, no, there's only a few left! No, oh, no! He can only be bitten 50 times before he dies! Oh, no. One left. And he, he's, he's, he's down here somewhere. Oh! Oh, there he is! No! He's hiding there! There he is! Oh, and he dies! Okay, guys, this is it. This is the battle for Helm's Deep that we saw before. We've got the footmen at the bottom, they're the Rohan soldiers. Then we've got the elf archers, which have a 90% chance of hitting with arrows, as well as doing double damage. The Rohan Grund have a 50% chance of hitting. And of course, the uh, Rohan Royal Guard, which are up there, which are being used as royal knights. Also, just hard, bleh, sorry, heavy knights. But there is one Rexy. Can this single Rexy take on the army that protected Helm's Deep against, what was it, like 10,000 Urux? I think it was. Oh, hold, hold the phone. Oh, I forgot. I forgot. We need the, like, 10,000 Rohan cavalry. <laughs> hold on, two seconds. And they need to be on the same team as well. That, that would definitely help. Okay, here we go. We got the cavalry that's going to come in. The T-Rex is probably going to go for the castle first. He's the only one attacking. And then we've got the cavalry charging in from the cliff. This is exactly the same battle as I set it up last time. Oh, there's there's the cavalry on the cliff. They've got the most. But can they get in can they get there in time to save Rohan? Are you ready? Go. Go, go, go. Where's that T-Rex? Oh, I see him. He's charging up the hill. Ah, oh, why am I so far away? Ah, he's gonna get that. He's inside. He's inside. Damn it. Oh, how is he doing? Oh, God. I'm mutilating. Absolutely mutilating. There's the elven archers as well as the normal Rohan archers. Oh, oh. Oh, he seems to be just fiddling about. 
<laughs> oh my god, they should probably be set to attack. Where's the Rohan cavalry? Oh, they're trickling, but the, yeah. <laughs> Last time we did this battle, they um the battle was going on for ages here. But um yeah, this T-Rex is already running all of them down just by walking on them. <laughs> oh my god. Oh we didn't have we don't have Aragon. Oh damn. Oops. I think this game's updated to a point where my original troops have all been, uh, like, d uh, deleted, so. And there you go. On to the archers. Oh, oh, we bit him through the cliff. What is this magic? <laughs> oh, Lord. That's a, it's a lot of arrows. Oh, no, he's going straight for the elves. They're the best ones. Look at the arrows just flying through. That 90% chance of hitting is not doing a very good job, is it? <laughs> Look at these guys. They're just firing everywhere. There's like a 50% chance of them hitting them. Oh, they did it! Oh. oh. Oh, I underestimated the Helm's Deep Forces. All the foot soldiers died. 250 of them. Quite a few of the elves died. They didn't even make a dent. Into the, into the knights. And the cavalry, I mean, they were coming, but they were taking their sweet time. And they, yeah, they'd start to be like weird and glitch out over the cliff. Oh no, T-Rex, no, he died it. What if this was the lost world? And there was two. Oh, that's awesome, right, we're back here. This is the start of the war. So the two, and there's two T-Rexes now. This is Site B. You got the male and the female. <laughs> Oh, the Elven Archers get some shots and they went a different way this time. That's not good. Those Elven Archers do a lot of damage. But what can two T-Rexes do? Double the damage as you would have thought. They're going to rip through these guys twice as quick. They just need to walk over them. They're like stopping to bite. If they just walked, they could kill them all. Because they, they have like really good trample damage. The Elven Archers firing down. Trying to help out. How about you guys? You guys firing? Kind of. I don't even know where your arrows are landing. Yeah, <laughs> just everywhere. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. Well, they, they, I mean, they got through this last. There's one soldier left. Fight him. <laughs> Up they go. Right, this is where they di started dying last time. Wish you could see the health. That would be good if you could have a health bar sort of enabled. Yum. That's the. Oh, here we go. Making a start on the elves. Making a start on the elves. Oh. For some reason, they're not going round. They're taking loads of hits. Oh, he's down. Imagine that. You're like, die, T-Rex, die. And his head's right there. Oh, what are they doing? I thought the AI was, like, made way better. Oh, now you're attacking them through that cliff. Right? Oh, I guess it's the range on them. They're pretty darn good. So the T-Rexes are being a bit more stupid. This oh, there we go. That's more Oh, he's just running them over. That's more like How about the other one? Oh, the cavalry are here. Oh my god! <laughs> They're running into Helm's Deep. Oh, that T-Rex is going to be taking a ton of damage as he's taken all of the Elven Archers. Oh, but he just walked over them. That was beautiful. Neither T-Rex dead. One fending off the incoming cavalry, the other one taking on the Archers. And the Elven Archers as well. They do double damage and have really good accuracy. So if they're taken out quick, that, that's just only going to help the matter. Help the cause. Oh, I thought he died there. Oh, there you go. Oh, look at him just run them all over. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, I think this is about right for Rex, I would say. Oh, no. It's down. Oh, one down. One down. Now, they those Elven Archers cannot attack this T-Rex. I think he's going to slowly take on the horses, like, down here. <laughs> I think he is. Look at him go. Just whacking him up the butt. Imagine being that cavalry dude. No! Go on! Oh, he's, he's already down. He's just falling down. <laughs> oh, God. How, how are the cavalry doing? Oh, yep. Yeah. I mean, they're actually not doing too bad. They're not getting stuck like they used to. As soon as they hit that, they're like, okay, let's move around. Oh, this, there is some elf archer supplying covering fire to the cavalry. I can't believe that. Oh, he was so close. Those elven archers, they do a lot of damage. I mean, every arrow does 66, so you get hit by 10. That's already 600. You get by hit by, sorry, hit by 100, which isn't too hard. That's 6,000 damage. 
That's over a tenth of its entire health and just in just a hundred arrows. And not and not to imagine he's being a clout he's being like walloped by horses and, and swords. And the footmen as well that are already dead. This T-Rex like took no damage. Either just all those arrows, because there's about what 300 elves up there. So I mean two volleys of arrows, that's 600. That's probably enough to kill one T-Rex. He's doing really well though. <laughs> The cavalry are coming more than- there's more cavalry coming than he's killing though. So- oh, and down it goes. The Rexies killed 567 with f almost 5,000 left and they only killed two. Would you look at that? There you go, all the death and destruction with the two Rexes. One died on the cliff and one died over here. A lot of cavalry died though. A lot of it. And that is gonna wrap this video. That's awesome. If you want to see more like T-Rex scenarios or Ultimate Ever Bar Simulators, uh, leave in the comments below what kind of bar scenarios you'd like to see. We can have like shotgun, T-Rexes, whatever you like. Let's make it fun. Let's have loads of fun with this. Until next time, I'll see you later. Bye!